system. And once you're embedded, you can forget the innovation. Innovation comes from insecurity. Innovation comes from threat to your own survival. And that's why this fellowship has been designed as a quick entry, quick exit mechanism. So people come in, do their innovation, set up the systems for innovation, and leave out. I think I wanted to take this opportunity. Most of these innovations, in fact, all the five innovations, were conceived of when the Honorable President was the Finance Minister. Without his support, these innovations would never have seen the light of day. And I want to take this opportunity and place on record my deep sense of gratitude to the Honorable President for his consistent support uh, in an environment where, as I said, uh, innovation is difficult to do. Uh, he, his support has enabled us to demonstrate by example that innovations are possible in governance, innovations are possible in administration as well. Thank you very much. I am delighted to receive the third annual report to the people of the National Innovation Council. Council was constituted by the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, to realize the vision of the government of making this decade as India's decade of innovation. Over the last three years, the Council has been undertaking various initiatives towards creating a roadmap for innovation in the country. At the outset, I would like to congratulate Dr. Sam Petroda, Chairman National Innovation Council, and his team for taking the innovative steps for realization of the vision of the government. <clears throat> Knowledge and innovation are the twin pillars around which the nations will compete, grow, and prosper in the 21st century. Strengthening the country's knowledge and innovation ecosystem is critical to ensure a brighter future for our young and to enhance competitive advantage in an increasingly globalized world. In the Indian context, Innovation is especially critical, not only for growth and development, but because we have a huge reserve of unmet needs in the critical areas of country, such as health, education, energy, housing, and agriculture. Governments around the world are making concerted efforts to encourage innovation. India too dedicated 2010-20 as the decade of innovation. Government of India has announced a science, technology and innovation policy for innovation-led development. The success of this policy will require creation of an ecosystem, collaboration and adoption of best global practices for innovation activities to thrive. I am happy that National Innovation Council has been working through the international collaboration by inviting the top brains around the world for Global Innovation Roundtable. The ecosystem for innovation based on access, equity, and excellence will ensure that innovation becomes a way of life in this country. Today, we are in the midst of exciting times as we have access to new tools, technology and connectivity, and these platforms can ignite innovation like never before. These new tools and platforms will have a massive impact in organizational structure, delivery models, and business process where innovation will be critical 
we as a nation must be ready for the new wave of innovation all our efforts should focus on inclusive growth affordability scalability and sustainability our pervasive model of innovation of the people by the people and for the people should truly empower the nation and in the process lead to the creation of wealth for all the stakeholders distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen national innovative council has suggested the creation of the meta university riding on national knowledge network which will reinterpret the concept of a university as not just a traditional physical space of learning but as a repository of knowledge and information that can be delivered in multiple ways and can be accessed from anywhere and at any time this would offer a collaborative and multidisciplinary learning platform where students enrolled in primary college university will be able to take courses available in other universities and colleges the institutions of repute in the country have been given a platform to identify their strengths and weakness and supplement the academic and infrastructure weakness by using this innovative concept it may address the core concern of indian higher education system which is facing shortage of quality manpower and infrastructure to deliver the quality education the council has launched the todd ford george tfj initiative which aims to provide a hands on learning environment where students can deconstruct reconstruct or repurpose everyday objects that they see or use this initiative is an exciting step in fostering creative thinking and analytical skills amongst the students distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen india is a developing country and we have several milestones to achieve before we attain the final status of the developed nation the only way we can leapfrog to a status of developed nation is by using innovation as a ladder i urge each and every citizen of this country to be a part of the innovation movement which has started in this country i also urge the universities colleges and schools to be in the forefront of the innovation initiatives and contribute in all possible manners in re-realizing our goal of inclusive development and growth i wish dr sampitrode and his team at the national innovation council great success in their pioneering initiatives and remain hopeful that the work of the council will make significant impact in transforming the country into a innovation nation thank you ladies and gentlemen jai hind i want to take this opportunity to first thank honorable president for his inspiration encouragement and kind words i know how busy he gets but i am delighted that he found time for all of us i also want to thank secretary to the president lady sitting there and smiling who has been a great support she organized the whole thing without any complications because our young team at times really doesn't follow many of the procedures and all so thank you for 
putting up with us. I want to thank our young team for the energy they put in to organize this, getting reports done on time, and at the same time handling global innovation roundtable. I want to thank Jairam Ramesh for coming here on a short notice and saying kind words and also giving the right messages as to what innovation is all about in Rural Development Ministry. Jairam is one of my favorite speakers. He can speak on anything. And he's very knowledgeable, and he doesn't need notes. And you saw that. When he said five, I thought he'll forget the fifth one. But he didn't. I also want to thank members of the National Innovation Council for traveling from different places to come be with us. I want to thank our dignitaries and foreign guests for their presence. I really appreciate your input in the last two days, and we want to make sure that we remain in touch with you, network with you, learn from you, and the friendship that we have developed with you continues and benefits all of us. Finally, my media friends, I ignored them by mistake earlier. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for the coverage. We really appreciate your presence, and I hope you take our message on innovation to a large number of people. With this, I want to wish you all good evening, and Jai Hind.